So how do I change my health? And that simple decision, it's what led me to be attracted to what you're doing in this book and the work in this area. Talk to, a bit, talk to us a bit about that energy piece. In the book, you talk a lot about yeah. boosting your energy yeah. through natural compounds. Yes. And when I was reading about this, I was fascinated because we're not hearing about this everywhere. If somebody were to tell you five years ago that you could reverse aging, people would laugh at you. But today, there are billions and billions of dollars being spent by the richest people in the world, mostly in Silicon Valley, and some of the greatest scientists in the world. And there have been breakthroughs in the last five years that are amazing. So there's a man named Dr. Sinclair, David Sinclair from Harvard. He's probably the number one longevity expert in the world, and I write about him in the book. And one thing he says, he's 53 chronologically, but he's 33 biochemically. I've applied what he's taught me for six months now, since I met him, seven months, maybe eight months now, and I'm 62, but I'm 51. And my goal is to get it down to 41 <laughs> or 42 if I possibly can. But I'll, I'll, here's what I want your, your audience to understand around energy. So everybody's heard of the genome or their DNA, right? You can think of the genome as being like the piano keys, but the music is played by a player, which is the epigenome. Epo means above. And the epigenome is affected by your diet, your exercise, how much exposure to radiation, et cetera. Well, most people have heard that, but the epigenome really is governed by seven master genes. They're called sirtuins. Now your audience has to have to remember all these names, <laughs> but just stay with me. Just think there's seven master genes that do three or four things that are critical. First, they convert, they turn on and off the different genes in your body. That's the epigenome. And if you turn on the wrong ones, you age too soon or your energy drops. So when this is fully fueled, when those sirtuins are doing their job, everything happens in the right way. Second thing they do is they reduce your inflammation, which is the basis of most breakdown in the body. Third thing they do, which is critical, is they help your mitochondria, which is the energy force inside every cell in your body, convert food into energy, into ATP. It's pretty important. And then they have a separate task, that is they clean up your DNA. So at 35 or 34, you have a certain amount of exposure, more than when you were 20. Mm -hmm. When you're 50, it'll be even higher, at 60, even higher. Well, around 40, your stem cells drop off the cliff. Around 50, the sirtuins, the fuel of the sirtuins drops off the cliff, and that's called NED, which I'm sure some of your people have heard about, you may have even spoken about. You can do NED as an IV. It doesn't absorb a lot, though. Mm. NED, though, has a precursor called NMN, like never, mother, never. I'm sure you've heard of it. And so I've known about that. So, for example, in a mouse, they give NMN to mice and they live 30% longer. So not all mice studies transfer to humans. They take a, an old mouse, like a 70-year-old person, would be like a 20-month-old mouse, okay? So that's an old mouse.